Hey guys, Sonics here. I hope that you are having an amazing day so far. And if you aren't, then I hope that after this video, um, your day is a little bit better and things go your way, okay? And I notice I've been saying that a lot recently. And the reason why I do is because I want you to, whenever you click on these videos, I want you to always feel like you have a safe place where you're not judged. And, you know, you could just be yourself, okay? And you never have to worry about if you want to comment something down below. I'm never going to judge you for what you say. I just, just make it a safe environment for you, okay? Um, you know, play the videos while you're driving. And, and I just talk about life. If you want to, the Apex gameplay in the background too, you know, it's all me. So, uh, just thank you for all the support as well. And you guys are so amazing and I just love every single one of you, okay? So today, uh, I just want to talk about something that has been going on in my life, but I never really had the chance to really pinpoint it, which is taking things a little too personally. And we can be honest here, we all do this, some more than others, and some days a little more than the previous day. And it's true, it really is true. We take things so personally, we probably do it every single day without even realizing it, right? Um, you know, we're driving to school, we're driving to work, and someone cuts us off. Oh, that person doesn't care about our time. Or that person is inconsiderate. That person doesn't realize that I have this job or this thing, this meeting that I have to go to. Okay, we take things personally a lot. Let's be honest. But like, I guarantee you, like within the past week, you've probably taken something personally. Someone has said something to you or has done something to you that has kind of ticked you off a little bit. And it's, tr and it's, it's human. So that's the first thing that I want to say. You feeling this way is okay. Okay? It's there's nothing wrong with feeling, you know, feeling things. Like it's good. It shows that you're human. You're a human being with emotions. Okay? Um But let me let me the the the, the thing here that I want to talk about is there's always more to the story than you realize. Okay? Um one time, you know, this actually relates to the example I was driving and I realized someone did cut me off and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> my gosh, this person is, you know, does not care <laughs> about my time. My, like, do they not realize I have this, this, this meeting I have to go to, or I'm meeting a friend. Like I forgot exactly what it was for, but I knew it was something that was time sensitive and urgent, but I only cared about me at that moment. So when that person cut me off, I was like, this person is so selfish. They don't care. Um, whatever, right? And then I, as I was going, like, you know, I saw the car again, like five minutes later, and I realized that they pulled up to the, to the hospital. And I was like, oh, shoot. And then, you know, like the ambulance, like the, you know, people from the hospital, like, called. And it was actually somebody that was, uh, like giving birth you know obviously and i was like they didn't want to call the ambulance because it takes a minute you know it takes a while for the ambulance to get to the house and i was like oh my gosh well someone's delivering right now and i didn't realize that but at that moment when they you know yeah when you know it was a stop it was literally a stop uh stop sign and then they were like they, they just went they didn't get you know i was technically my right away but they took it it's like whoa what the heck is going on here? Um, I realized at that moment it was about me. They, I did not see it from their perspective. I didn't, I didn't know that there was more to the story than I realized. Um, another thing is, I had a friend, and we would talk, text here and there, you know, just catch up, and it was a close friend of mine. Um, back from high school. So it was a long time friend, right? And every time I would text this friend, I'd, it, it would be regular every week, you know, catching up how they're doing. Um, and we set plans. And we're like, hey, do you want to hang out during this time? Whatever. And as that date approached, um, I was looking forward to it. And they told me like, hey, um... I got to talk to you about something and I was like, oh shoot, what's going on here? And I thought 
that this person was gonna uh you know say something about me or you know it, it it's really easy to take things personally right and i was like okay um what's going on and they never responded back i was just like oh my gosh like now i'm worried and i was like oh did i do something or did i say something did i was something done that i caused this and then eventually like they were like oh we have to reschedule i'm sorry and now it's dragging now that i have this like overwhelming feeling that uh, something's wrong like oh my gosh like what did i do what did i do and uh, you notice in that sentence there's a lot of eyes there's a lot of me's and for a second like i was like there this is <laughs> it's driving me insane <laughs> it's true <gasps> that day finally came where i talked to this person and she she told me you know um hey you know let's like 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 let's finally talk about you know, whatever and in my mind i'm like oh my gosh all these thoughts that's going on i was like this is i did something i did something I, what did i do and then she told me oh my parents are going through a divorce oh. you know that at that moment <laughs> I felt like, oh wow, I, obviously everything, like all that, you know, self-infliction that I caused on myself, that mental torture, right, got, it literally washed away. And I almost felt guilty for feeling like that. I felt embarrassed, like, why was it making it all about me? It wasn't this whole time, like, there was something else, there was more to this story. I took it so personally. She, to she told me, like, yeah, I'm going through so many things right now and I just need someone to talk to and I just, like, whoa like that is that is insane okay and she was just like sorry that i've been able to you know catch up and and i sorry i had to reschedule because i just it's been so much um and she went you know through like breakups and stuff and at the same time you know relationships um that failed and and the whole family that divorced and she's taking it all on herself and she just needed someone to talk to and I realized at that moment that it wasn't about me and it's not to say that if you feel this way at times you're selfish because you're not it's easy to feel like everything's about us sometimes because like it we don't know the full context but if you just dig a little bit deeper there's always more to the story than you realize there's always more People are really not out there to get you, you know, they're really not. Um, I think last year I got in a, this huge argument with my mom and this, I'm, I'm like, she was, you know, mothers are really out there to take care of you and they, they, they care for you. They love you. The parents are there, you know, to help you become a better person. Right. And she told me like, um, Hey, you know, I, I noticed like you might be uh, eating a little too much and you got to kind of cut back, you know, or like exercise. And I didn't. OK, I, I didn't do any of that stuff. And I was in my head, I was like, oh, she thinks I'm she thinks I'm fat or she thinks I'm not like I don't look good or I'm not worth it. And I all these things it was I was taking it so personally. But there was always more to the story than I realized because I did. Well, I didn't know at that time, and I said something super hurtful to her, and I just and I and I I've already apologized for that, and we've we've already amended our, you know, that. But I said something super hurtful, and I didn't realize until later on that she was just caring for my well-being. So I ended up, you know, I was like, okay, fine, I'll do all these things, and I I started exercising, started eating healthier, and started doing these things that she told me and I was like huh all this time I didn't realize that it was actually for my own good it's such a weird thing and I thank her to this day for that moment and I realized that there's always more to the story than you realize you know um not everything is this one-sided black and white um thing that you see from your own eyes sometimes you have to shift your perspective on life and see things from a different light 
Put yourself in someone else's shoes. We've all heard that before, but what does that really mean? Use these examples. Think about something in your life and comment that down below if you want, you know? What is something that you've uh, taken really personally and you didn't realize, dang, it's not really about me at this time. This person actually is going through something or this person actually cares about me more than I realize. So, I just hope that you can take this lesson and carry it with you because don't put yourself through any more pain. You know, we're going through so much already in life. And just be gentler on yourself, if that's even a word. <laughs> be more gentle to yourself. You know, don't be too hard on yourself. Sometimes life isn't always what it seems to be. So, I hope that this type of video format thing, uh, if you're new here, uh, welcome, because I like to do these little life lessons while I play Apex in the background, and I don't know, it, uh, there's just something so beautiful about this, because it doesn't feel like it's work to me. Every time I make these videos, I feel like I'm putting in my heart and I love, I don't care if I'm not, you know, um, blowing up on this channel, but I feel like the growth that I'm getting is actually faster than I realized. Okay, so thank you so much for all of that support. So please stick around if you like, the, like these videos, and especially this video was really fun to make because um, I had the challenge for the the breakout challenges where you you play like six different legends and you can get the flatline reactive skin. So this was so fun to do. It was the, one of the hardest challenges to make or to do, but honestly, it's worth it. The skin looks amazing. I'll show you the clip here at the very end, but I don't know. It just it's awesome. So I hope you learned something today and I can't wait to talk to you in the next one and comment down below. I want to talk to you even more. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and please, please, please never forget Take care. Wait, let me know if you if you find a flatty W stick. If like the, my last one would be like a like a flat line before I get the skin. Another level, another upgrade. Oh, choice. you have one? <laughs> I feel like there are enemies nearby. Oh shoot! Oh my gosh! Wait, what are you doing? Oh, right there, on you. Bro! I think that was it! Nice work. Yo, I got it, bro! Finally. After I got it! God. Oh, there we go. Where were you at? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my Look at this, bro. God, bro. This, you see how, gl how it's bro. glowing? My bad. Bro. God, this is so crazy. And it's God, reactive with sights? Bro. Yeah. It looks amazing.